I'm Coach Crystal, and welcome to uh, Meta Saturday Seminars. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the types of film shots. This is a basic uh, introductory aspect of the filmmaking process. So let's begin with focusing on how we can create a story by the types of shots that we use. How do these shots contribute to the storytelling? So the first type of shot is a close-up shot, uh, otherwise called CU. We tend to use a lot of abbreviations when it comes to different types of camera shots. The close-up is a shot where you fill the frame, primarily a part of your subject. If it's a person, usually their face. This is usually done to reveal your subject's emotions and reactions, which is typically about a little bit from the head to the very top of the shoulders. Um, that, I would say, the next shot that we'd want to go to is a medium shot, which is what you are doing right now looking at me. So if you get a medium shot, a uh, medium shot is typically from the head to the upper shoulder, uh, to the actually to a little bit right about here, as you see in this particular shot. The medium shot can be from your head to um, a little bit lower than your, about your mid chest, or it can be from your head to your waist. The medium shot is where you frame your subject from the waist up in this particular shot. And this is done to bring more emphasis to your subject while keeping the surroundings visible. The type of shot that you see of me right now is what we call a bust shot. So we have two types of medium shots. We have a bust shot, which is the one that you see right now, and then a medium shot that is from the head to the waist. The medium or bust shot, just like I mentioned, uh, this shot is typically done often in news um, that gives a, a, enough emphasis that you're not tight on the, the anchor's face, but gives us a little bit of room at the same time. It's still a very personal type of shot. Something similar to that type of shot you've often seen in Western films is called the cowboy shot. It's that classic shot that we see from behind the cowboy, and it usually is uh, right to the top of your head or the top of their cowboy hat to about right about them where the, the back of the knee section is. And that is the classic cowboy shot. Look for it in lots of films. Um, it's so many films pay homage to the cowboy style of, of um, shooting in, in cinematography. And another type of shot that is fun to play around with is the POV, the point of view shot. Point of view shots are really fun. Um, this is a point of view shot. And and it shows what the subject is looking at, usually done by first filming. And the subject is looking and then revealing what the subject is looking at. So it gives a perspective. This is um, the camera over someone's shoulder, more than likely getting that shot to make it look like the character is looking at their phone. Similar to the point of view shot, would be the over the shoulder shot. An OTS shot um, shows you, uh, shows your subject from behind the shoulder of another character and can work well during conversation because it, it emulates perspective. Um, so in this particular shot, we get the sense that Batman is interrogating uh, the Joker. The older, the shoulder shot is a great device when it comes to conversational aspects um, in your piece, often used in, in interviews as well as film. An extreme close-up. This shot shows extreme detail by tightly framing your subject. Usually it shows the mouth or the eyes. This shot is usually done to emphasize specific features on your subject. For example, a bruised lip. The two shot. It's a shot where two people are the main subjects in the frame and you can also have a three shot or a four shot and it is just how they are placed within the shot to give them emphasis 
um, to the storytelling. Um, this, in this particular case, I know that that's Damien Chis uh, Chiselle, the director, uh, with Ryan Gosling probably on the set of La La Land. And, but it, to the average eye, it could just look like two people having a conversation, not necessarily a director talking to the actor. And so that's why it's a great shot because it seems conversational. Well, I hope you enjoyed this piece on the different kinds of um, shots that we may use in film and uh, make sure that you like and subscribe and more importantly if you really want to delve into this deeper join us at Meta for classes. They're affordable and they're fun and we are doing remote learning so don't feel left out. <laughs>